the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. This is It All Began in the 70s, Season 3, Episode 12 for Sunday, December 12th, 2021. Low Altitude. So, anyone who's seen me in person or in a video where I'm standing up will see that I'm about five and a half feet tall. Uh, always been about five and a half feet tall since I was about 12 years old. Uh, not much you can do about that, although it does bring to mind a guy that I knew that was running a promotion at one point in time that advertised pills you could take that would make you grow taller by... Um, Growing the cartilage in your kneecaps. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So, why am I bringing this up? Well, I didn't really give it too much thought growing up. Um, I mean, what do you do about something you don't have any control over? Maybe subconsciously that's what was going on. Um, did I get a lot of grief about it? Yes. Uh, all kinds of names. You know, shrimp, shortcake, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, didn't pay it much mind. Um, you know, you know the world according to what you see through your own eyes and how you experience it. And, uh, you know, being five and a half feet tall is normal. People that are six feet tall think being six feet tall is normal. But as time has gone on and I look back over my experiences and some of the things that were said and basically how society looks at you if you're not, I guess, six feet tall. I guess that's kind of what's considered to be the manly height. Um, you know, I, yeah, it's it's significant. You know, there is, a, I guess, a prejudice. I mean, in fact, I remember a song, I think it was uh, Randy Newman, uh, Short People. Look that one up. It'll give you a good laugh. Short People, I think by Randy Newman, the same guy that does uh, I Love L.A., um, this, I think, was in the 70s, and it was uh, short people have no reason to live. So, you know, listen to that for a good giggle. So, uh, stereotypes, I guess that's uh, the message here. Is it a, uh, a stereotype? Does it have an impact on the way people see you? Um, yeah, I think it does, um, at least initially. You know, did I ever lose a particular business deal or something because of my height. No, it's possible, but I'll, I don't recall anybody uh, making an issue out of that once I was able to make my presentation, but basically to get your foot in the door. But yeah, you're surrounded by people that are taller taller than you. I mean, that's just been, been every day of my life, pretty much. It's very rare when I run, run into somebody that's shorter than I am. Very rare. Unless they're a child, basically. Um, did it make me work harder? Um, focus more? Uh, maybe there were opportunities that I had to work harder for than others would because they were six feet tall? I think that probably is the case. It's, you know, but there's no way to measure that. There's no way to know that looking backward. You know, you don't, it's like the saying about managing risks. You don't know what risks that you manage to avoid because they didn't happen, right? Um, do I think tall, dark, and handsome gets an edge, like a pretty lady gets an edge? Yeah, I think that's that's the case. Um, you know, society does work like that. People work off of what they see first and then go from there. Um, but anyway, I just thought I would bring this up. Again, uh, you know, just... Uh, Factually speaking, I mean, you know, I have had to deal with being a short man my whole life. And yes, there has been ridicule about it. And has it made me work harder in some areas? Probably. Um, without realizing it. And if you want to have a good laugh, once again, listen to Randy Newman. Um, short people have no reason to live. Thanks for your time and attention, and I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.